Nice kill, Travis. I didn't think you had it in you. It was rather... exciting. Congratulations. You are now ranked 10th. 10th, huh? What? Do I get anything? Hmm. How about some cash? That should help you pay the bills. I'm not feeling the sense of accomplishment that I should have. So I just gotta do this a few more times, right? If you so choose, yes. And you will keep your promise? There is nothing the Association cannot do. And if I refuse? As the 10th ranked Assassin, you are now a target for those who want to replace you. Anytime, anywhere. Number 11 could be right around the corner. Ready to put a knife in your eye. So what you're telling me is that I gotta continue fighting. There's no way out of this. You set me up, bitch. Quit your bitching and get with the program. There's only one road out of here. No turning back. Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on, just once. Huh? The next fight has been arranged. You don't have a lot of time, so I'll just tell you what you need to know. The ninth ranked assassin is currently Dr. Peace. A doctor? Actually, a detective. A dirty and unscrupulous detective with plenty of dark secrets about him. Illegal investigations, illicit sales, black marketing. He is your one-stop shop for marketing illegal goods. And on top of that, he is a trained assassin. He's been doing some work for the Mafia. And before you know it, he's up there ranked ninth on the list. To be frank, he's good. You won't stand a chance against him. You're as good as dead. What's it going to be, cowboy? Put me in, coach. All right. Please transfer 150,000 LB dollars. What? 150,000 LBs? Your entry fee? My overhead costs? Don't tell me that you were not expecting so many zeros on that price or that I am ripping you off or some shit. We have an elite staff in the thousands. Personally, I think it's a bargain. Okay, I gotcha. But you really think I got that kind of dough on me? What the hell am I supposed to do? You are supposed to do your job. You've been hired to kill someone, so just do it and quit your whining. Plus, on-the-job training would be good for you. If you're interested, I can introduce you to an agent, an advertisement agency. But really, they're a raper. I'll tell you where it is later. I'm running late for my facial. Catch up later, okay? What? No! Congratulations. You are now ranked number nine. What'd you expect? Wait a minute. Are you getting a little sentimental? Still green, aren't you? You know this is only the beginning. Call me when the next one's arranged. Game set! Travis? Yeah? The next fight has been set. Wait a sec. Why the hell are you telling me this over the phone? Why? Because I cannot decide what to wear to the association's party tonight. Big shots from across the nation will be there. This is serious business. So serious that I'm going to spray perfume on every square inch of my body. Yeah, whatever. Right, right. Your next opponent. Head for the school. To the school? And then what? Just go. You'll know what I'm talking about, I think. What do you mean, you think? You know... You really suck at your job. Life is more important than some job. That is why I am busy shopping right now. You, on the other hand, are busy killing people. Because that is all you ever do. What? Am I wrong? Well, I guess not. All right then. Another victory, Travis. You are now ranked 8th. You gonna kill her? Probably not. She's still young. But I still have to follow the Association's rules of conduct. Then let her live. Are we suddenly in love, Travis? Hell no! 
Then why take the risk of her coming back for revenge? In this business, there's no such thing as mercy. Kill when you can kill. That's bullshit. All I want to do is fight someone better than me. She'll grow up. Why not kill her when she's stronger? Yeah, then I'll kill her. You are sick. So are you. Travis, I'm starting to think that you may be for real. You are now seventh in rank. Hey, when I hit number one, you better be looking your best. No need to pretty up. I want you to see me for who I really am. Serious? Damn! Rub some oil on me, will you? Me? You serious? What? Is there a problem? No. Thought you'd never ask. Your next opponent is here on this beach. Ah, just up ahead. So I'm supposed to fight on the beach. That is one of the conditions. Why? That's for you to figure out. Mmm, feels good. What other hidden talents do you have, Travis? Huh? Go any higher and I will kill you myself. Not until you become number one. We have a deal, remember? So hurry up and go get him. Yes, your highness. Not a very smooth victory, that Travis. But a win is a win. That's all that matters. I hate to award you this, but you are now sixth in rank. What was her name? That is not important anymore. You're right. But I owe her at least that. Holly Summers, born in... No. Just her name. <laughs> Travis? Let me guess. You're out shopping. Hey, I don't want to interrupt your fiesta. Who's next? Hey, give me a second. Don't go anywhere, sweetie. Mm. What? Huh? Yo, what's the problem? Something wrong? Hello? Um, huh? I'm getting a bad connection. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? That's... Great. Travis, you are now ranked fifth. But we haven't even... We're just getting started! Perhaps you've forgotten these fights are an official game. If your opponent dies for whatever reason, according to the rules of conduct, it is your win. That's fucked up! That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard! This guy's mine, and you just want me to let him go, bitch? Mm. Rules are rules. You can't have what you can't have. Whatever. But this dude says he wants to fight and ain't nobody gonna stop him. This ass clown right here is... Who? Hey! He's gone! Mr. Sir Henry motherfucker, he just jetted! What a pussy. Sorry. Save that aggression for your next match. Who the hell was that guy? Travis, the next rank is fourth. Who is it? But come to think of it, it doesn't really matter, does it? I am sending you a ticket for a show. Look nice. Let's go together. Number four will be there. A show? Wait, this is a date, right? Something like that. Why else would I be getting an oil rub? Wh what? What did you say? Someone's rubbing you down? I'll see you later.
You are late, Anson. Hurry, the show's about to start. What's with all the excitement? It is not every day you get to watch a big fight from VIP seats. Of course I am excited, but I am most excited being with you. Whoa, you're serious. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm packing heat, baby. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen and all killers out there, welcome to Harvey Dovodarsky's magic freak show of the century. It'll be a killer night, so let's get started. It's showtime! <laughs> oh my! Quiet, quiet, please! What do you know? It's already time for the last program. But you know, today is a special day. And you, ladies and gentlemen, are lucky. So lucky that you might even get lucky. Now, one of you lucky people will be chosen to be up here with me. Who's it gonna be? The lucky person is... You! Well, Travis, this is your lucky night. Me? They want me? Serious? You gotta be kidding. Go get him, Tiger. The name is Travis Touchdown. Thank you all for coming tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. I would also like to thank you for coming this evening. As a result, Travis Touchdown is now ranked fourth place. And the show will go on. I hope to see you all again soon. And have a good night! Well, this is the big three. Where are you now? Yoga class. Right. You go ahead and do that. Thanks. Your next opponent is a witch. She lives in this abandoned place called Speed City. A witch? Travis? Congratulations, you are officially ranked third. Only two more to go. It is really cool how they all die. What the? A letter? What do we got here? Don't come looking for me, Sylvia Crystal. Some trouble at home? She quit her job? Huh. What the hell is this all about? The Rank 2 match will be at Destroy Stadium. Aren't I a hard-working girl? Huh. Not the baseball stadium again. Okay, Sylvia. Only two more to go. I'm going all the way. That's a promise. Why didn't I call this number in the first place? Uh, hello? Hello? May I ask who's calling? This is the Assassin's Association, right? Look, I gotta talk to you about... Oh, dear. She's done it again, hasn't she? Hey, are you listening? Excuse me for asking, but are you by chance an assassin? Whoa, don't tell the whole world. Then you have been had, sir. You are not her first. What? Run that by me again. Listen to me. Do not get involved, whatever you do. Listen, lady. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Who are you, anyway? Another sorry kid. And for the record, I am Sylvia's mother. Mother? Yes, you heard me. And there's no such thing as an association, or whatever you think exists. You're joking, right? Do you know how many people I've killed? She is a professional con artist. You mean a fraud? Are you telling me this was all just bullshit? She set everything up. Would you mind telling me how far this all went? I'm now second in rank. So, just one more to go. All righty. 
Why not play along since you've come this far? Are you serious? What's the point? This is all some make-believe charade. But a good man finishes what he started. Fight to the end. Your most formidable opponent awaits in the castle. Now, off to the Garden of Madness. Travis, can you hear me? It's Sylvia. I never thought you'd make it this far. But I am sorry. I cannot see you anymore. I want to fly to your side right now. I want to be in your arms. I want to be with you. I want to share my life with you, no matter the cost. Meeting you, I felt truly alive for the first time. I mean that. But feelings and reality are two different things. Life is not that simple, yes? Now, be honest. Did you really think I would let you do me if you hit number one? You really are an idiot, aren't you, Travis? Come back to reality. I mean, look at yourself. You are a dopey otaku assassin. The bottom of the barrel. No woman would be caught dead with you unless she was a desperate bitch. Where in the world could you find a woman who could fall in love with someone like you? Well, one is right here. It was fun, Travis. I love you. Now, don't forget to use the restroom. Trust your force and head for the Garden of Madness. I lost everything that I ever cared about. That bitch took everything. I can help you to get even. She's a good con artist, that's for sure. She set up some killer fights. So you and I finally meet. You should thank Sylvia. It's over. This is where it all ends. Right, Sylvia? And hey, where's Sylvia anyway? She disappeared without a trace. Where the hell is she? Sarah, you mean my wife. What? Wife? Yes, you know. Spouse, soulmate. Henry's wife? Get the idea? When did you two get married? Oh, about ten years ago. Yeah, that's right. Because we were both in college at the time. <laughs> oh, shit! All news to me. I'm gonna need shock treatment to get over this one. I'm sorry for all the trouble my wife has caused you. Forgive her. She caused me some trouble, all right. But it helped me clear up a lot of things. Ah, you know how women are. Especially my wife. A really big spender. Yeah, she knew my income wasn't enough, so every now and then she'd just disappear. She's a bad wife, but a good woman. What? Are you telling me that you and her... Oh, come on! <laughs> but Travis, my brother, we're similar in many ways. <laughs> You're right. Suddenly, you being my brother doesn't sound so awkward. Let me ask you, how do you plan to put an end to all of this? Wait a sec. You want me to tie up all these loose ends? I don't think so. You're the protagonist. I'm just a cool, handsome foil who happens to be your twin brother. Hate to say it, but it's your job. I want to bail, but where the hell's the exit? Oh. There's no way out, is there? <laughs> no getting out, right, bro? That's right. All we can do is keep running. Then let's find that exit they call paradise. Let's go! You like this painting, don't you? Hmm. Let's go, Jean.